I was watching this morning on CNBC, uh, 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 Fed uh, President uh, Fisher, I think he's of the St. Louis Federal Reserve, was on CNBC talking about the Fed. And while, you know, I, I, not everything he said was completely outrageous, he did mention that he thought that the Federal Reserve uh, was uh, creating a moral hazard, uh, although he certainly understated the degree to which this is true, uh, by by enabling the government to continue uh, to uh, spend and rely on the Fed to try to stimulate the economy. Um, and, uh, you know, Joe Kernan, who was interviewing him, kept bringing up, what about your dual mandate? I mean, why isn't the Fed being more aggressive, uh, given how high unemployment is? And, you know, the reality is there is nothing the Fed can do uh, to create jobs. There's nothing the Fed can do to reduce the rate of unemployment. I think in the past... There was a relationship between printing money and unemployment, which served the basis of the the Phillips curve. But the reason that printing money in the past was able to bring down the unemployment rate was because printing money lowered wages. And it was lower wages that increased demand for labor, uh, not the fact that the Fed was easy. Uh, There certainly were better ways to reduce wages. But since governments often erected barriers to prevent wages from falling, uh, such as a minimum wage law, or maybe there was a union contract in there, a way to bring wages down despite these laws or contracts was to create a lot of inflation, and that's, in fact, what happened. So it's the lowering of wages that me- that is responsible for increased demand for labor, uh, not the inflation itself, but the consequence. And, of course, there are better ways to bring about lower wages than destroying the value of money. But the problem today is that, Wages overall are a relatively small part of the labor cost. Uh, A bigger problem, I think, is regulation and taxes. And there, uh, government keeps piling on uh, new regulations and taxes faster uh, than the Fed can reduce wages by creating inflation. Plus, also, when you create inflation, uh, that's putting upward pressure on on, uh, raw materials, on imported components. We certainly import a lot more components today than we did in the past. And so... You're not getting as big a, 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 a reaction uh, from lower wages because employment costs are not, in fact, going down. And, you know, when you have people out there who can just live on extended unemployment benefits, a lot of the lower wage jobs are just not going to be taken uh, because Americans would just assume collect the extended unemployment benefits. So uh, the policy is not going to work. And, in fact, it is backfiring on the Fed. Because the Fed is printing all this money, because the Fed is buying all these government bonds, the federal government itself is off the hook in the short run. It is spared uh, having to make the tough choices that would actually create the jobs and grow the economy. The government doesn't have to cut spending because the Fed is there loaning the money at cheap rates. If the Fed was out of the equation, if the Fed let interest rates rise, uh, then financing these big debts would be uh, impossible. And so the government would be forced uh, to reduce spending instead. And then we actually might get might may have uh, some gains in employment. And of course, if they started to abolish a lot of these re- regulations, that would help even more. But instead, the government relies on the Federal Reserve. The government counts on the Fed to stimulate the economy with cheap money and, and low interest rates. And so the economy never gets better. Uh, The government keeps on destroying it uh, because the Fed keeps on giving it the rope, which unfortunately it uses to hang the American economy and the American worker. Anyway, we will come back. we got a break here. Hey, the, the lines are open, 855-4SHIFT if you want to call. You know, the problem we've had the last few shows is people late to, wait till the last segment to call, and now they don't have any time. So if you want to call in, now's the time to do it, 855-4SHIFT. We will be right back. The Peter Schiff Show. Keep me guessing, I never see. 